Hey sneaker friends, today we've got another shoe review, but today it is a Nike. It is the Nike Women's React Pegasus Trail 4. I did get a women's size 8. Um, they do say on Nike's website to half size up, but this size was fine for me and it's pretty close to my size. Now these are $140 on Nike.com originally, but now they are $95. I went with the black green and teal or mint colorway. Nothing fancy about the box, as you can see, just crunchy paper, brown cardboard, cute print on the outside, but that's it. All right, let's take a look at these. So this shoe caught my eye definitely because of the React foam being in the midsole. So you've got a midsole going under the entire foot of the React foam and that React foam is soft yet durable, right? Let's actually check the durometer of it. See if we can find a flat spot. We'll try, well, the bottom's not real flat. So we're at about a 38 on the sidewall. Now it is thinner in some areas in the forefoot here. You can see it's much narrower versus the heel. Um, and so when foam is a little thinner, depending on the thickness of it, the durometer can change slightly. Um, but generally they try and keep it the same exact durometer, the whole piece. It's just sometimes when it gets real thin in the forefoot, it can feel a little firmer. Now on the bottom, you do have a huge coverage of rubber. Uh, let's see what we have here. So there's web here in the back. You've got web in the front. You've got a couple gaps where you don't have rubber. So if we try to measure the web, it looks to be about 1.5 millimeters. Now these lugs in the back are huge. I don't know if you can see that. Um, they're measuring in at four millimeters. So a total of about 5.5 millimeters back here. That's a lot of traction, which for a trail shoe is great. Let's see if the forefoot is as thick in the lug area. Lugs 3.29, so slightly shorter in the forefoot in this other design that you have see here. Now the rubber does wrap up, as you can tell, on the toe. And it also wraps a little bit here on the lateral forefoot, uh, just to give you a little more traction, you know, in the trail, leaves, rocks, moisture, things like that. The React is exposed on the bottom and there's a yellow logo there. Now you do notice that the React foam is painted here. This is a paint line, so it's the same exact foam. It's just painted this other green color. All right, let's dive into the upper of this shoe. This is where it gets pretty interesting. Now this shoe, it's, a, it's an engineered mesh, right? Um, so they engineer it so that it has the holes in the areas that they want. They try to make it as big of a piece as possible. You can see a seam right here and they're using welding tape again to keep, keep you dry. Um, then there is breathability and holes all through the forefoot and the midfoot of the shoe. Now the toe has, this is like almost like a screen print or silicone that's on the tip. I, I'm guessing it's a screen print. It's very thin. I'm not even sure I can measure it. Let's give it a go because we like, no, the, it's deforming way too much. Um, so it's going to be hard to measure it. But I mean, it's super thin. It's probably a mill thick and it looks like it's just a screen print. You got welding around the lace loops also to give you a little bit more support and strength in those lace loops. Then there's fly wire going through, right? Fly wire is coming through the middle of this upper, grabbing the lace and going back down. So you have a lot of medial lateral support in this shoe. Your lace is standard. It's a, you know, flat lace, so it doesn't come untied. Pretty standard, nothing fancy there. A separate tongue, um, also nothing fancy there. The um, molding in the shoe, you can tell from the top view that this shoe, let me put it down flat, it's a little bit wider actually. And I believe in some of these models, especially when they have Pegasus, uh, they do have widths. I'm not exactly sure about this shoe, but I do like these because they are slightly wider for me. Now, the inside of the upper is traditional. So you can see the uh, fly wire going down kind of through this pocket. So you have this uh, mesh going all the way line through the inside and through the toe of the shoe. You can see it. It's the blue color that you see under the black there. So pretty traditional on the inside. You get the fly wire again, giving you media lateral support. Now your sock liner, you're going to notice that's not the normal color. That's gray, right? And so that sock liner is made of foam to give you a little bit extra cushioning, which is interesting considering React foam 
is, is pretty good cushioning anyways. So with that little hole in there, we're gonna try and measure the thickness of that strobel. 2.78 millimeters, so that's 2.78 millimeters. Let's try and get the durometer of it. It might be too hard. It says about a 38, 39, it's hard to see on the camera. But you basically have almost three more millimeters of a 38, 40 durometer shore A hardness material on top of the React foam. That's great. Uh, pull tab in the heel, nothing on the tongue, but the tongue is grabbable. Um, yeah, that pretty much covers it for this shoe. Let's take a look at the weight here quick. I always like to do that. So we've got 223 on the right shoe, but no sock liner in there. So skip that. Let's put the sock liner in. 242 on the right shoe. The left shoe, let's make sure the cardboard's out of it. 240, so a difference of two grams. That's really, really minor, not a big deal at all. All right, have you bought these? Do you like them? I quite like them. I think they're comfy. I think they're gonna be great out in the trails in the, the warmer summer weather. Um, yeah, tell me what, oh, got my mouse in the picture, of course. Tell me what you think of these in the comments. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks. Bye.